Hey everyone, thanks for sticking with us. We're here in Bakersfield at the Famosa Drag Strip, as promised, got all the cars up here. Let's do a quick recap. Down at the shop, we talked about all the AM EV products on the testing. We ran them all on the dyno. We know what power they're making. We have a rough estimate of who's gonna be the quicker car, but we're here at the track to put the numbers to the test and see what they do in the quarter mile. We've got the Bullet, the Performance P85 Model S. So we're gonna do Mustang to Mustang and Tesla to Tesla. All right, so now it's time to put the numbers to the test, and for that, we've got a special guest. Import drag racing legend, Rockstar Energy Drift team owner, Mr. Stefan Papadakis. How you doing, sir? Well, yeah, thanks hey, for having Sorry me. I bumbled that, it's a, it's a long, uh, <laughs> long name there, but we appreciate you coming out. So guys, we got our hot shoe here. He's gonna jump in the car, run him down the track. You've been involved with AEM for, what, nearly 20 years now? Yeah, over 20 years. Yeah, I started with drag racing, got into the drift, and we've been partnered up all along the way. Yes. Awesome, great relationship, we're great to have him here. Um, so we wanted to get some really consistent track times and performance, so we thought we'd hire a legitimate driver. They wanted me, but you know, I was like, let's, let's bring Steph. Steph's the right guy for the job. I understand you have a Model S, right? Yeah, yeah. I like the electric car powertrain. It'd be fun to drive the Testang. Right, the Testang. Um, but yeah, I've driven Model S around the street a lot, and uh, I really like the electric performance. Yeah, instantaneous torque, quick acceleration, all those sure. things, right? Yeah, and yeah. it's and it's also quiet, so you can accelerate out of turns, but not attract a bunch of attention. Right. You know, as I get older. I want less of that. Well, I think uh, we're all introduced up. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, I do. Let's hit the track. All right. Thanks. All right, so first pass, it felt dialed. It tracked really straight. I took an easy launch. I just got off the brake with my right foot and went straight to the gas pedal and went full throttle. I didn't want to break any drivetrain or anything in it. It had minimal to no tire spin. It accelerated all the way down the quarter mile smoothly. Obviously, it didn't shift. It just kept accelerating. And the alignment was straight on the car. It was just a good pass. It felt pretty quick. Maybe like a mid 1180. I think that's totally respectable, and it probably has another half second if we, if we uh, tune it up a little bit. Maybe change some of the launch strategy with just the driving. Yeah, a lot of fun. I'm ready to go again. Mustang number two, same but different. Um, manual transmission, so I got a clutch and I got a shift on this one. I even have to use the clutch to launch, so that'll be a little bit more challenging. In some ways, I like that too, because it brings more of the driver into the, uh, the equation. All right, so, so I think it's got at least another three tenths, maybe a half a second in it. Um, I didn't want to launch too hard and break the thing on the first pass, so I bogged a little bit, but it doesn't, it's not gonna run a 12, and it's absolutely not gonna run an 11 like the, the electric car. But let's do a couple more passes and see what we can get out of it. Maybe we can run a 13 with it if I get the launch down a little bit better. The first run, I bogged a little bit. The second run, I spin the tires a little bit more than ideal. It had a really similar ET though. Um, it's definitely not gonna run a 12 and it's nowhere near an 11 like the electric car, but it's kind of fun shifting. And I like the, you know, I've got to play with it and make it launch well and make sure I get in all the gears, but the electric Mustang smokes it. Uh, let's, let's keep going. Let's try it again. There it is. All right, so car number three, Tesla P85 Plus. I believe they claim 12 second quarter mile, so I think it's going to run somewhere in the 12s, maybe a mid 12. This one's just rear wheel drive. I'm gonna leave the traction control on and see what it does. And maybe we'll do one without the traction control and see if it's quicker. All 
All right, so this one, if it's smooth. I mean, you just, I just two footed it, crept into the lights right when, you know, it, it was time to launch, floored it. It had an okay launch, didn't really spin the tires much. It didn't hit as hard off the line as uh, the Mustang, electric Mustang did. It felt quick, but um, the electric Mustang definitely felt quicker. Yeah, so 12.8, 105 miles an hour, considerably less mile an hour, so overall less power. We can try a couple more passes to see if we can get lower the, the time, but I don't know if it's got much more in it. Let's try. All right, so I'm trying different launch strategies in this thing, and this time I'm gonna try turning the creep off so when I let off the brake, it won't move anywhere, and then just slam on the accelerator. Trying that here before the starting line, it seems like it might launch better. So no traction control, creep off, and then just slamming on the accelerator. If you try any sort of power braking thing or two pedals, it goes into like a fault mode and it says two pedals press and it turns all the power down. So that didn't seem like the best strategy. So we'll try something different this time. I will say something about this car, it's extremely consistent. Regardless of how I drive it, it seems to be really the same time. Um, and then as I'm able to brake the tires, it was a little bit before the starting line. I think there's more grip at the starting line and at the, during this, you know, in the 60 foot range because that's where they're prepping it. So I think that's all she's got. All right, so we've wrapped things up. We've run all the cars down the track. Before coming here, you know, we ran them on the dyno. We had numbers, we had our suspicions of what they would run. And now we've, we've verified that, we validated it. We, the test thing was the fastest, P85 right behind it. And then behind that was the bullet. Uh, so let's talk about the bullet. What'd you think about it? The bullet was pretty fun because you roll up, it's got a clutch, it's got a stick shift, go do some cool burnout, you know, some test launches. And, and depending on how I drove, it really changed the, the quarter mile time of the car. Um, and you really have to concentrate and make sure you get it into each one of the gears. I like that part of drag racing, but it was relatively slow compared to the other cars and relatively inconsistent. So as far as the performance, uh, it didn't meet the other two cars. And so that is one aspect of a, a, a clutch, you know, a, a manually shifted clutched car is the fun aspect of it is the fact that it's variable, that it's also very dependent on your performance, right? You're, you just, you can have just as much bad performance as you can good. It's all, it's very much on the driver itself. So then up from that, uh, we ran the P85, which very consistently ran 12 eighths. What'd you think of it? I thought it was really easy. It was sort of an experience. You just roll up to the Christmas tree, you hit the throttle and you hold on. And at the end you hit the brakes and it runs a 12 eight. I mean, there's <laughs> something sort of magical about that where sure. there's not a lot of input and it just keeps doing it but at the same time, it took away a little bit of the experience, um, but it is quick. The challenge with the Tesla is, I don't know what else we would do to make it quicker, because you can't really retune those cars. It gives you what it gives you, which is a lot, but there's actually more, and we've proven that with, with our car, with the test thing, that it's a base drive unit that's actually making more power than a performance drive unit, so that, that's pretty incredible. Yeah. Uh, so now on the test thing, we ran a best of like an 11, seven, eight. So that was actually, Great, we wanted to break 12s, which is conservatively. So the fact that we ran 11, 7, 8, AEM is ecstatic about that. Uh, what do you think about the testing? I thought the testing was a good compromise between like a natural Mustang sort of feel. It had a cool launch to it. It lit up the tires a little bit, but it was also consistent and it had good power all the way through. Yeah. So definitely fun. And you can keep tuning it up and it can continue to run quicker. I think that's part of the fun of drag racing also is continuing to tune and coming to the drag strip each time and trying to make the car quicker and quicker. Sure, absolutely. And in fact, we've weighed this car. It weighs 3,600 pounds and we're pretty sure a, a P85 is well over 4,000 pounds. So there's a pretty good performance advantage there that just the weights alone, plus the additional power makes for a really pretty fast, pretty awesome ripping little car. Yeah, yeah. yeah I had a lot of fun today in all three. Awesome. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me out. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> thanks, Steph. All right, guys, so that wraps things up. If you're watching this video right now, it means that this product, the AEM Tesla large drive unit inverter control board, part number 30-8402 is available now. If you have questions, 
post up your comments. We will get to you and we'll answer them. As, as, absolutely, we'll get to every single one. And again, we're actually gonna have a build list for this car. Every single EV part that we have on here, we have the parts list for it. So if you want to replicate this car, it's almost like a recipe. You follow it, pick up all the correct parts, put together the AEM EV parts, and you can replicate the testing and run this similar type of performance and tunability with the AEM VCU. I think that wraps it up. And again, thank you so much. And uh, let's go do some more runs. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe.